Hey. Hello, welcome. Just gonna give it a minute. Okay, welcome. Um, let's get into it. So today I am going through my sugaring routine. Sugaring, if you haven't heard of it, it is basically a newer form of waxing. So obviously if you go get wax or you can obviously wax at home, you're using wax and sugaring is using sugar. So I actually have it right here. Got it warmed up a little bit. This is the sugar paste is what it's called. And I'm going to just kind of talk you through like how I do it, um, why I prefer it, and just this amazing company called Sugaring LA, which is what I use. So before I get into the actual sugaring, I did want to talk about kind of the prep for sugaring. Um, hello. So the prep is really important. So first of all, you have to make sure that you have enough hair growth um, to sugar or wax or any kind of hair removal besides shaving. You need to have like a decent amount of hair growth. Um, about an eighth of an inch is the minimum, I believe. So you know, at least I think they say two weeks post shaving is usually a good length. Um, but that being said, you need to, besides have enough hair growth to sugar, is that you also need to prep your skin. So it's really important to have clean skin and exfoliated skin before you sugar. Um, Exfoliation is important because you have to remove like the dead skin cells that kind of can build up around the hair follicles. This is really important because sometimes you can't even see that you have a buildup of dead skin um, that needs to be removed. But if you do and you just try to wax on top of that, um, it gets in the way from removing the actual hair and the hair follicle because you're sticking onto that skin instead of the actual hair. So that's why exfoliation is super important. Um, just so you guys know what I use, I've talked about the Indie Lee De-Stress Body Wash before, but this is my body wash of choice. This is great to get a nice lather, clean your skin. Um, it's the De-Stress De Body Wash, I think I said, comes to $20 with the 15% off. So anything that I talk about in today's live is 15% off if you add to your bag and check out during my live or within the 15 minutes or 30 minutes after it ends. So if anything I talk about piques your interest, add to bag, you'll get that discount and you can see everything I'm talking about. If you click the little window button below the heart on the right side of the screen, you can see all the products, all the totals and what they come out to with the 15% off. So I love Indie Lee because it's a clean skincare brand, very clean, vegan, cruelty-free. And I like to use the de-stress body wash, especially before sugaring because you know you definitely want to de-stress it's calming and you know obviously waxing of any kind is not the most um not the most calming process it obviously hurts a little bit even if you're very experienced with it so a little de-stress before is always good thank you atn um so yes 
Before you do any kind of waxing, always clean your skin in the shower with a nice body wash. I love this one. And then when it comes to the exfoliation part, I love to use the Shivering LA Exfoliating Mitt. So Shivering LA is an amazing uh, sugaring brand. They're based out of LA and they're founded by women. And I love their mitt. And I actually, their whole kit is what I use to sugar, but the mitt is really, really great. I love that it like slips on your hand so nicely. And you literally just take this in the shower, get it wet and exfoliate all over your arms, your elbows, your legs, your knees, like really get in everywhere to slough off those dead skin cells. It works really amazingly. It's Okay, hopefully you guys are still here. Not sure what happened there, but I was talking about the exfoliating mint from Sugaring LA. I love this exfoliating mint. It's just a natural viscose, super great at exfoliating the skin, super sleek, easy to travel with. Um, and it's just really great because it's almost like just a little glove on your hand, super easy to get everywhere. Make sure you really get all those dead skin cells. Works amazingly and it is only $11.48 with the 50% off. So even if you don't um, wax in any way, it's always good to exfoliate. And this just, you can buy totally separately. Um, I think it's an amazing exfoliator. I actually like it a lot better than a loofah um, because it doesn't hold any water. It's just super thin, compact, um, and you literally just wring it out and you're good to go. So. Great for exfoliating if you, if you do self tanning. Um, and even if you don't do anything, it's just great to exfoliate. But you definitely need to do that before you wax. It'll help you just get much better results um, for all those reasons that I talked about before. But now we can get on to the actual sugaring part. So if you're new to sugaring or you have done it, but you would like to try out a new brand, I highly recommend Sugaring LA. Um, they make amazing products. I've used them firsthand, so I can definitely vouch for them. I love the company. Everything is clean, vegan, uh, just eco-friendly, all the, all the good things. I definitely trust using them. They're perfect for sensitive skin, any skin type. Um, and the sugar and kit that they sell on Bear Shop is a perfect place to start. It has everything you need to get started. Um, it comes to $33.99 with the 15% off, which is amazing. Um, and I will show you everything that comes in the kit. So first you get, well, you get this little bag, which is very cute. You can travel with it, keep everything together in the little bag. Um, it comes with the little sticks that you use to apply the paste. And comes a little mini one too. This is great for if you want to do like your upper lip or just really much smaller areas um, where you can really target the sugar piece. So it comes with that and then it comes with the little strips. So these are reusable. First of all, the sticks themselves are reusable. Um, and then these little pads are also reusable. So these are what you actually use to wax with. They're what you kind of adhere to the wax and you put it on and peel it off. Um, I love that these are cloth. They're completely reusable. You never have to buy more. And obviously that's so eco-friendly, much more eco-friendly than traditional waxing and also much more friendly than like disposable razors, obviously. So it comes with two little ones. Again, these are great for the face. 
Um, it comes with these sort of like medium sized ones, perfect for an armpit area. And then it comes with also these large ones, which are great for legs. Um, could also use these for a bikini area. So it's just like nice to have all the different sizes for everything, obviously. You could even cut these down if you like find a routine that works for you and you like them smaller, whatever it is. I've used all of these, as you can tell, they're kind of like wrinkly and that's just because when you're done, all you do is run them under hot water, squeeze them out and leave them to dry. I just like put them on the side of the tub, put them wherever they dry super quickly and they're ready to use again. And that also goes for the sticks, which are also totally reusable. Um, once the paste is kind of stuck on there, once you're done, again, just run it under hot water, leave to dry, and you can use them forever. So last thing it comes with is the actual sugar paste. Here it is. So I warmed my oven up before I got started. Hopefully it is still a good temperature, but Actually, with sugar waxing, you only want the sugar to be slightly warmer than room temperature. So it's never hot, never super warm, just slightly warmer than room temp. Um, so here's the wax, this is what it looks like. It's all organic ingredients. It's literally just sugar, water, and lemon. Um, so again, perfect for sensitive skin. There's nothing crazy in it. Um, literally all you need is the paste, the sticks, and like, I feel like sugaring can seem really daunting, but when it comes down to it, it's actually fairly simple, I feel like. Um, so that is what the sugaring kit comes with. And I'm actually going to do like a little sample tutorial for you because why not? It's really, really simple. And also the kit actually comes with really easy instructions that I actually have right here. Just a little pamphlet that kind of like takes you step by step. So that's really nice. It makes it really easy. And I'm going to show you a little section of my leg. And I know this looks awkward, but oh, and just flip the screen like I always do. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little sample of my leg. I know you can't even see that I have hair on my leg but it's just gonna give you an idea of how the process actually works. So you grab a little bit of sugar on the end of your stick, and then you're going to take it and you're going to kind of apply the paste against the way that the hair grows. So for your leg, you would go up because the hair goes down, and I'm just gonna do a small patch, but, so what makes sugaring so nice is that it really Okay, sorry guys, I think it got disconnected, but hopefully we'll be back. Um, if you missed it, I just applied a little sampling of, excuse me, the sugar paste on a little patch on my leg. So that's all you do first. You heat the wax for about 10 seconds. Again, you want it to be just slightly warmer than room temperature, you don't want it to be hot. So that's what I have right here. You want to apply it in a really nice, thin layer. You don't want it to be thick. And again, you go opposite of the way that the hair grows. So depending where you're waxing, just the opposite of the way that the hair grows, you get a little patch like this, and then you take whichever size of the strip that makes most sense. So I'm going to use like the medium one and you adhere it, press down, to kind of get it attached, <laughs> waiting for the rip. And then you also want to then kind of rub opposite again, the way the hair grows. So that's what I'll do now. Because when you actually rip it off, you rip it off in the direction of the hair growth. So right now, 
we're getting all the hairs attached to the strip, but in the opposite way that they grow. So then when you rip it off the way it grows, it pulls them out, if that makes sense. So we've got our strip applied. Another important thing is when you rip it off, don't just like rip it up into the air. You want to keep it kind of parallel to whatever you're waxing. So I'm going to do that now. Let me make sure I've done all the steps. So yeah, you pull it off in the direction of the hair growth, like it said. So that's what we're going to do now. Ready? And it's nice to like hold the skin above, just to make sure you have a little like leverage. All right, I think it's ready to go. You just want to make sure you let it sit a little bit. And got it. Okay, so I guess I'll show you the hairs. You can see it like totally gets the follicles up. I know it's hard to see, but that is what is so great about sugaring is that it absolutely gets that follicle. Join at the perfect time. I think I'm gonna have to do another sample for anyone who missed it, but it gets the fall because you're able to like work the sugar really nicely into the follicle and it just works better than regular wax. So, and you can also um, use the strips even with the remaining wax up to three times and it'll still kind of work. So let's just do another little sample. So here's the wax. Again, you never want it hot, just slightly warmer than room temp. You get a little bit on the end here. Honestly, I'm always tempted to eat this because it's literally just, first of all, it's organic and it is just sugar, water, and lemon, like I said. So, okay, let's do another section. So again, we're gonna, sh we're gonna go against the hair growth here. You wanna keep it thin. And I don't know, why is this so satisfying? I really don't know. Um, so hopefully you can see my little patch there. We will use the same one because why not? So again, going to press this down on the patch and then just kind of press it on again against the, the hair growth, the way the hair grows, okay you can see. All right. Cool. Great. Then just make sure it's on there. We're all good. And the moment we all love most. Nice. That was, that was an even better one. So again, kind of gross, but show these uh, follicles. Um, thank you. It honestly, once you do it a few times, you get just used to it and it's not bad. Um, I feel like it hurts less than regular waxing. I don't scientifically know why that is, but it really does not hurt that much. It also depends what you're doing. Like some areas are obviously more sensitive than others. And I feel like legs are like probably maybe the least, um, but it really doesn't hurt that much. And also, pro tip, you really want to do as thin a layer as, as possible because when it starts to hurt is when you like gunk it up and then it's like super tacky and sticky and that's where like it can start to hurt. So the thinner the better um, when it comes to the application of the actual sugar. But yeah, so sugaring is amazing. It pulls out the follicle, which is what makes sugaring last, like honestly up to like five weeks, um, minimum of like three, because it gets that follicle out because the sugar works in around the follicle. And that is not always the case with regular waxing also. Um, so really effective hair removal technique, really natural, perfect for truly any skin type. Um, and I've been, I've been loving it. And like I said, everything that you use is totally reusable. So these now I just either put in the sink or in the tub with hot water, like pouring down on them and it totally just comes off and it's ready to use for next time. I'm not going to eat the sugar, although I don't really know why, because it literally is just sugar and water and lemon. Like, 
what is stopping me from just putting oil in my tea? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it, it is all natural. No, I did not have to make it. So this comes in the sugaring kit. Here's a little box here and cute little bag to put everything in. But the sugaring kit comes with the sticks. It comes with the reusable, um, different size, what are these called, strips. And then it comes with the actual sugar paste. Um, so yeah, you don't have to make it. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate it because I'm about to buy? No, it's really, really great. If you haven't sugared before, I think this is a perfect place to start. I honestly feel like it's a really good price. You get a good amount of sugar. I've used it quite a few times. I love that these are all, everything's reusable except the sugar. Just feels very environmentally friendly and also cost effective, um, but highly recommend. It's really not that bad. The first time you do it is a little more painful, but as you continue to do it, the hair grows in a lot thinner. It thins out the and like weakens the follicle, so it's really not that painful. As you could hopefully tell from me removing it off, I like couldn't care less about it. It's just nothing to me at this point. And I'm only sugar. I haven't sugared that many times. I'm not a pro. Um, you can use the wax on your face. Yes, absolutely. So depending where you're using, like these little ones are perfect for your face. Please do ask a million questions. Um, if you want to do like your upper lip, it's perfect for that. You can do your brows and you can even do like your cheeks, you know, wherever you want to do on your face, it's entirely safe for your face. And I actually feel so good about putting this on my face because I have very sensitive skin. I don't like to mess with like a million ingredients on my face. And I know that my face can tolerate lemon, sugar, and water. Like it does not get more simple than that. So I definitely don't worry about it breaking me out at all. You can use it anywhere. Um, so yes, hopefully that, hopefully that answers your question. Um, but I think, I think we're solid on the sugaring kit. So I wanted to talk about kind of the aftercare um, especially when you first start, you know, your skin's not going to be used to it, more sensitive, perhaps you may get a little like pinpoint bleeding, um, just depends on your skin, your sensitivity level, but you do want to take very good care of your skin afterwards. I will say if you do have sensitive skin, it doesn't last long. Like of course there'll be redness, maybe a little irritation, but it does not last long and in my opinion, it's because of the aftercare that I do that it is honestly not an issue. Um, I wanted to mention that Sugaring LA does sell this sunshine skin toner. I have not gotten this, but this is what would be really good to spray on the area after you wax to close up all the fall, like the hair follicle, they're not there anymore, to close up the skin, I guess. Um, and, you know, just, get everything clean and 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 do that but I don't have that so I, I think that's what they recommend though so if you are interested in that they do have that $20.40 with the 15% off so that would be your step immediately after waxing and then after that they have kind of two options for like the moisturization and the nourishment adding that all in back to the skin I have the Hempful Healer, which is right here. Cute little tincture bottle and looks like this. Kind of a similar color to the wax actually. And it's just like a dropper bottle. So Hempful Healer is what you would apply after you wax, either directly after you wax or after using that toner, if you want to use the toner. Um, this is just a very nourishing blend of oils. Let me see what this has in here. It had, it's all organic oils. It has hemp seed, tea tree, chamomile, meadow sweet, organic essential oils, or frankincense and lemon. So this is just really calming. It, I just apply this all over the areas that I wax and it's just very soothing. So I guess I'll show you where it wax my leg, even though, like I said, legs aren't like the most sensitive. So you don't have to worry too much, but if I did like, Normally I do obviously my whole leg, even though I'm not going to do that on my, but literally just a drop and it, it smells really great. 
and it just kind of calms the skin. And I can see, again, you won't be able to tell on camera, like I have a tiny bit of redness, nothing too bad, but this will really just help to calm the skin, take that right out. So really important to nourish the skin after waxing, um, even after shaving, after any kind of hair removal for that matter. So I love using this Hepful Healer from Sugar in LA. But honestly, any oil is going to be really great for the skin. They also sell a wild rose oil, which I don't have this one, but I pinned it here. Both great options. I love rose oil as well. So definitely we'll be checking that one out. Um, and that is all of the Shimmering LA products. So I hope that this was helpful and that I've inspired some of you to try out Shimmering. It's definitely the hot trend right now and I can definitely see why now that I've done it. Um, it's just, first of all, it's very effective, but also it's very meditative. Like I've never been one to like do at home waxing, but like, it's just kind of nice to take some moments aside and just wax. It will not make you break out. Trust me, I'm very, very sensitive and it does not make me break out. Um, the only thing it might do is give you some redness. Well, it definitely will give you some redness at least the first like couple times you do it. Um, but again, that won't last. You just have to make sure to moisturize your skin after. And it's honestly like, I would do it at night, go to bed, and when you wake up, you're good to go, genuinely. So just a little redness, um, it will not make you break out. And that's almost a guarantee. I mean, I'm scared to guarantee, but um, I think it's a guarantee. Cause honestly, probably a lot of products that you use, a lot of face products in general have sugar in them. Obviously water is not going to break you out and what's the last thing? Lemon. Lemon's amazing for the skin. So I don't think there's anything that can really break you out. The only thing is like some irritation. Um, but again, just, I always do this routine before bed so that, um, I have the whole night to kind of like my skin to calm down. Um, so yeah, any last little minute questions, let me know, but Sugaring LA, highly recommend them. Again, they're a totally eco-friendly, organic, women-founded brand. So I love to support, but I also just love their products so much. Um, I will never stray from sugaring. Um, they actually also have studios um, where you can go get sugared in LA. And so if you live there, then that'd be super fun. Um, I've never, never done it, but probably, probably a good experience. Um, so yeah, guys, um, I guess that's it for this live. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my waxing of my leg. No, it wasn't that exciting because I don't even flinch, I don't think, but <laughs> try it out. Would love to know what you guys think. Get the 15% off discount by adding to your bag right now. If you check out in the next 30 minutes, it's all yours for the 15% off. So amazing deals and you're supporting an amazing brand and only at Vera Shop can you find these amazing brands I'm telling you all right guys I'm probably gonna go wax the rest of my leg now at least the one I don't know if I'll get to both right now but thank you so much for tuning in you also have a wonderful day and see you next time bye guys <laughs>